There's a walk you can do from the chapel in the fields. It's a wander across the moss, through woodland and fields, filled with wildflowers and birdsong at this time of year. We call it the psalm walk, because we've produced a leaflet with directions, things to look for, and psalms you can stop and read at various points. I always find myself stopping here. It doesn't get a mention in the leaflet for some reason. It's in the middle of a wood, nowhere near the road. I wonder, how did the car get here? What's its story? Today's Old Testament reading has Amos terrifying the people of Israel, leaving them in no doubt that God has been punishing them and is going to punish them more for their wickedness. Just as on the placards you used to see on the way to football matches, prepare to meet your God is a dire warning, not a friendly invitation. Amos might see this wrecked human artefact on my walk as a symbol of the futility of our pride and a reminder of what happens when it comes up against God. But there's a kind of beauty in the metal being weathered by wind and rain, and as the plants and trees burst through the gaps, it speaks to me of irresistible life. Loving God, when we set out to find you in blue skies and bird song and flowers, remind us that you meet us too in darkness and noise and ugliness, for your love surrounds us everywhere. Amen. <laughs>